Your path to Microsoft cybersecurity expertise begins with the SE900 exam, and it's just a start, so you want to clear this hurdle quickly. And in this short video, I'm going to put you on the fast and proven path in 2025. So whether this is your first step into cybersecurity or you're simply new to the Microsoft stack, I'll put the right materials in your hands, along with a game plan for how to use them. Let's dig in. The goal in this very short video is to put you on the fast track to clearing the SC900 exam on your first attempt with strategy and study materials that have proven successful for many thousands before you. And certainly the journey begins with my SC900 exam cram video and accompanying practice quiz. But just in case you're a little newer to the world of cybersecurity than the average candidate, I'll chart a full course to get you across the finish line no matter where you're starting today. So in my nine to five, I am a cybersecurity strategist and a VC so for a regional bank where I exercise my cybersecurity skills every day. Last year, I did help thousands achieve cybersecurity certifications like the CISSP and Security Plus and countless thousands with the Microsoft Cloud and Security exams like the AZ900 and SC900. So let's talk about the expected level of experience. Any exam that ends in the Dash 900 falls into what we'd call the fundamentals category. This is for candidates who are just getting started in their cloud or security journey, after which they can move on to the associate level exams, which assume a couple of years of experience, and even on to expert exams that assume years of experience and completion of some of those associate certifications. But for fundamentals, it's lightly technical, there's no hands-on, and no expectation of experience whatsoever. When you move into those associate level exams, those are deeply technical, and they definitely assume you have considerable hands-on knowledge. In terms of your exam experience, with any fundamentals level exam, you can expect the exam is roughly 60 minutes in length, though it won't take you that long to complete, generally speaking. Roughly 40 to 60 multiple choice questions. I have had candidates report as few as 35 questions, and they will be lightly technical, focusing on feature and concept description. There's no expectation of hands-on in these Dash 900 series exams. And let me show you exactly what I mean by describe as your focus in the exam. So if we look at the verbs in the exam syllabus for SC 900, we see Describe concepts of security, compliance, and identity. Capabilities of Andra. Capabilities of Microsoft security and compliance. It's describe throughout. Multiple choice questions, no hands-on, not deeply technical. Now I'd like to share with you a bit of exam preparation strategy to make sure you have the right materials in your hands and a plan for how to use them most efficiently. Because at the end of the day, there is no award for the longest study time. So I want to draw you that fast path to the finish line. It begins with my SC900 exam prep video, which covers every topic on the official exam syllabus with the disclaimer from Microsoft that no syllabus is 100% comprehensive. So there's always the opportunity for them to throw a little surprise or two. You're not really going to see much on this fundamentals exam. And with my video, you have a free practice quiz that has questions on all the exam topics. And I do find that generally speaking, folks who pass my quiz are ready for the real thing. Now, perhaps your changing careers may be new to cybersecurity altogether and you'd like some additional foundational material. So I'll give you a quick tour of the current syllabus and the Microsoft resources you can use to augment my exam prep resources. So let's just switch over to a web browser and have a quick look. So if we hop over to YouTube, you'll find my SC900 exam cram video. It's just shy of three hours. And if you scroll down and have a look at the video description, there are timestamps for every section of the full exam syllabus. And those will show up on the video timeline automatically. If you go over to the inside the microsoftcloud.com website, you'll find a link over here to SC900 where you can find my practice quiz currently just a hair over 90 questions. Now, if you're brand new to cybersecurity, not just the Microsoft stack, you may want to spend some additional study time 
That's where we can go over to the study guide for SC900 on Microsoft Learn. We see this exam was last updated in July of 2024. My video was made in January, and I came back and looked at the changes to the syllabus in July, and they were so very minor that I still had full coverage of the syllabus in my video, so I didn't make another one for exactly that reason. And that's the last update as of February 2025 when I'm making this video. Now, if we look at study resources, that takes you to a section where you'll see two types of resources to help you prepare and to help you practice. So prepare takes you to a few hours of study material here, currently around six or seven, and a lot of reading here, a very little bit of video. And then if you click on that other option to practice for the exam, that's going to bring you over here where you can take an assessment or even launch an experience demo that give you a feel for the wording difficulty uh, and experience that you're going to see on the real exam. My quiz is very much focused on making sure you have the knowledge in your head you need for exam day. The Microsoft practice quizzes are going to give you a bit more of a feel of what you'll see in terms of that exam experience. So they're all free. I encourage you to use them all. And now I want to take just one minute to share with you a strategy for putting these materials together because research shows everyone benefits from studying using a variety of sources. So today we've talked about video content, a PDF you can download of the presentation to follow along. You can use that for a live quiz with a partner in lieu of flashcards. Practice exams, you'll find links to the Inside Cloud and Security Practice exams and the Microsoft practice quizzes in the video description. And if you'd like some additional learning on top of my video, you can use targeted reading over there on MS Learn. But mix, match, and repeat with these resources based on your preferences. Do what works for you. And remember, if you pass my quiz, you're likely ready for the exam. The last couple of years of these fundamentals exam crams has shown me that to be true in the real world. And my friends, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a sense of the right path forward in preparing for your Microsoft Fundamentals exams. If you have any questions along the way, reach out to me here on YouTube or over on LinkedIn, and I'll look forward to seeing you in a future video. And until next time, take care and stay safe.